new day. We have souls that are in the shed. I will likely forget things that are in here that I'm gonna have to come back out for, but I'm pretty sure these are the only three that are in here. Oh, I need to do this without breaking things. All right, can you grab those two? Pretty sure those are the two we need. Yep, need both of these. And the giant freaking Marlboro bag. First things first is the giant Marlboro vintage duffel bag. We garbage picked this with a bunch of other vintage 1990s stuff. Most of it was Coca-Cola. It was a few Marlboro pieces. Um, it's in overall pretty good condition. There is a little bit of wear on the top. You can kind of, I don't know if you guys can see that. But all the zippers, <laughs> just let him calm down for a second. Rich had to go in the basement to grab a box. He didn't take the dog. Anyway, it's in overall pretty good shape. It is what it is. Sold it for $25 plus the cost of shipping. The issue with this is that the bottom is rigid and uh, it doesn't bend. So we have to find a box that is literally that big, which is going to be kind of a pain in the you know what. I can't believe we actually sold this. Uh, I'm going to read it off of the Etsy listing because it's an antique 1920s Marcel Depose Acer C. I could have butchered that. I probably did butcher that. But it is a... I'm going to have you guys guess. Do you know what this is? If you said curling iron, you're right. <laughs> How freaking bizarre is that thing? Like, it's medieval. I can't imagine trying to curl my hair with something like that. Uh, sold it for $15 on Etsy plus the cost of shipping. Not too bad. I can't imagine when we're actually going to be doing these in the bus. That's going to be like tripping over dogs, like boxes everywhere. It's going to be a whole thing. You guys stay tuned for that. This is the next piece we have sold. Uh, we've had this for a lot longer than I would like to admit. Probably three years, and I don't understand why. I mean, there's a little bit of wear in the transfer, but other than that, there are no cracks or chips. It's vintage... I don't know. Finally sold it on Etsy for $45 plus the cost of shipping. So this is the next piece we're going to get boxed up. I don't know specifically what I have into this. I bought it from an estate auction with another pitcher and bowl that have already sold. And I think I paid $12.50 for the pair. I think I sold the other one for $30. But like I said, I've had this thing for freaking ever. So I don't really know what the profit margins are at this point. If I'm even making a profit. I could be paying somebody to take this off my hands at $45, but we're going to get it boxed up and shipped out anyway. Our last Etsy sale is a freaking awesome one. Picked these up at an estate sale for five bucks a piece. We've got this one and this one. Sold them on Etsy together to the same buyer for $95 a piece plus the cost of shipping. Woo, that is a good freaking sale right there. Our last order is another Stephen King book. This actually came out of the $5 Stephen King lot that I purchased the other day off of Facebook Marketplace. Sold it for 5 bucks, got my money back. Um, besides fees, we're pretty much in profit from that, uh, that lot that I bought. So yay, I'm excited. Going to get that ready to go out. And of course, can't go a day without a Facebook Marketplace pickup, huh? We're just trying to tempt me with cheese and crackers and Grey's Anatomy, and now I don't even know if I want to be at Salvation Army. <laughs> Seems there was like somebody who collected Asian stuff. Oh, I love this piece. Eight bucks though. I don't know if I like it eight dollars worth. That's a cute vanity tray. Oh no, it's not. It's home goods. Mm, I thought that was older than what it actually is. Ooh, should I do it? Because <laughs> we know I don't have enough Stephen King books right now. Ooh, for the another one. 50 cents a piece. On a roll. My initial response was, what the? F but I didn't actually say it. Dude. That thing would be so 
so cool on a wall, but also such a pain to ship. How much do they want for it? Eight dollars. Oh man, decisions, decisions. Also, what is the thing behind it? What is that? I don't know, I have a tough to grab. Okay, so that is a big candle attached to a big piece of driftwood. Oh, as much as I love it, this hanger is about to bust through. Like it is just holding on by a thread, literally. Looks like we're just leaving with our dollar fifty-nine in Stephen King books. Oh, good Friday morning, my people. We are getting ready to go like major thrifting, multiple thrift stores. It is early. The sun is just now coming up. We do have a couple of things that have sold that we have to get situated before we leave. Of course, we've got the Stephen King books, and yes, I said books, uh, plural. We have two going out today. We've got a first edition Cujo. Uh, there is some wear and damage to the dust jacket, but overall it's in pretty good condition. Sold this one for $30 uh, technically on Facebook, but they actually paid me through PayPal. And then we have the dance whatever. I don't know exactly how to pronounce that. Um, I do believe this also sold on Facebook. Doing pretty good on Facebook Marketplace with the uh, Stephen King books. So we're going to get these two ready to go out. We are down to the last two items that we have to get boxed up and shipped out. This is a very cool piece. It is a crushable water resistant. I don't know if you guys can see that. Harley Davidson cowboy hat. Yeah, I know. That's what I said. Very, very cool. Very, very odd. Uh, Rich actually found this at a garage sale over the summer for one whole dollar. Sold it on eBay for $40 plus the cost of shipping. And then I have to unwrap this. It was in the bus bins. That's why it's covered in cardboard. Anything that goes in the bus that is fragile gets wrapped in cardboard. Um, because we do still drive it sometimes for various reasons. But this piece we actually garbage picked on our way to one of my doctor's appointments, so I didn't even get it on video. We weren't vlogging, we were just going to one of my doctor's appointments. And uh, yeah, this was on a big tarp with a free sign, along with a few other things. It is in really good condition and very, very cool. This is all hand painted. It goes to a um, hurricane lamp. Sold it on Etsy for $65 plus the cost of shipping. So I did pretty swell on this. And this almost might be laughable at this point, but we're gonna go round four and see if these get picked up today while we're gone. You definitely just never know what you're gonna find at a thrift store. $300 as is. Pretty freaking sweet though. It's fun to look at. Very cool. Huh, it's kinda sad to see all the Christmas stuff gone. Dangle. That's kind of a cool piece. That's brass. Oh, those are so neat. There's only three though. Man, there's only like three of those too. What a neat set. One of the bowls is chipped, though. Yeah, but that would make bowl number seven, so if you didn't so get So you could one, potentially make a set of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine plates. Well, Rich put the art glass down. They wanted 24 for a set of six, so nah. But I did find this. Unfortunately, the Granny Squares has multiple bowls that I didn't see originally, so it's going to stay. quite like these. Oh my god. Wow, this is all one giant chip. And they still want 25 bucks for it. Bummer. Hmm, I think it's upside down. I was pretty sure it's supposed to hang that way. But it is vintage and they only want two bucks for it. I have 
absolutely no idea why Jim Shore rang any kind of bells for me at all, but it did enough to make me look it up. And these are going for right around $20, $25 on eBay. And mine has the tag, so for $2.99, I guess I'm going to take a chance on it. What the heck? They're still here. We are home. We have a small little wrap-up. I ended up buying this one, but not the other one. She wanted $15 for this one and $10 for the smaller one. I talked her down to $12 on this one, and I liked it better, plus it's larger. So I think I can get a little bit more money out of this one. I just left the other one. So we'll see. I didn't look it up. It does have a sticker on the back, so I can look it up. I just haven't. We went over the whole, what is this guy's name, Jim Shore thing. So I should expect to get about 20 to 25 out of this one. Probably 25 because I have the tag. It's, it's considered new, I guess. And we have the bronze and brass sculpture. I could not find anything like it on Google. I'm going to do a little bit more research, see if I can, I don't know, find any kind of information. It's not signed or anything. Whoops, I just loosened that piece. Um... It's not signs that I can find, but I feel like on the low end, I can probably get 45 for it. And then, and then you've seen this stuff. You did not see the next piece. This was a $20 Facebook Marketplace pickup. It is a General Electric Feather Control Cushion Eject Boombox. Uh, Rich just tried it. It does work, although we did not, we bought it without the cord. Uh, but he did have a cord he kind of rigged to check it, and, it, and it's functioning properly. So that is really, really good for us, even though it will get sold without the cord. But it does have a battery thing, doesn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah. Can't get this thing open. So you can run it off of batteries, which is a plus, considering the age and what it is. So I'm excited... I think we did good even though we were only gone for a little while. I love when I come outside and unexpected packages are here. I actually came outside just to let you guys know that these are officially cursed objects. That is the fourth person that has not shown up and fell off the face of the planet, not answering me on Facebook Marketplace, just, I don't know, <laughs> four people now, four. I'm gonna have Rich put these back in the shed when he gets home and I'm going to lug my packages into the house.